Hey everyone, this is Jaime with Bandas Palette, and today I'm just going to show you my uh, bug net. I get these bug nets from Harbor Freight. They're about 20 bucks usually on sale. Um, I think they're $30 regular price, but for $30 it's an it's an awesome deal. I know that these things go for hundreds of dollars if you want to do something really fancy, but I'm a woodworker and my shop is inside of our two-car garage, and um, one of the things that I can't stand when I'm painting is having little gnats or mosquitoes or flies in my paint. So my paint booth is right here. Um, I paint with the door shut, but sometimes it gets so hot in here, you know, living in Kansas, we get extreme humidity, heat, um, that I like to sometimes open the garage door just to get some air in there. Because when you're spraying and it's hot, you feel like you're in a, um, in a gas chamber. I, you know, I wear my respirator all day long and you just want some fresh air even if it's hot fresh air but what I do is I like to put this net up to keep out the bugs so I'm going to show you some tips on how I how I put it up some things that I've learned over the years to to make it a lot more useful for for us uh, for me I use it as a front door and um, I'm just going to show you how I number one how I install it and then some tips on making it better so the first thing that you want to do when you get it is you want to measure your garage door I'm sorry it's getting kind of funky there but you want to measure your garage door <coughs> excuse me you want to find the center point from that center point you're going to see some grommets of where where um, you can attach um, the uh, the net to your surface so you can use hooks I like to use screws they're just a lot more um, reliable and so the screws that I have in here I have them at a slight angle upward or I guess downward and that's just so that whenever the nets on there and if we get high winds that the net stays intact um, I like to leave the screw proud I'd say about half an inch just so that the net has something to grab onto whenever the screw is up there so what I'll do is I'll first I'll do the center screw and then I put my net up and then I start drilling the holes you know um, once you extend the net then you um, you can um, pre-drill the hole and then do just do your next one and then you'll see the, the screws as they go out when you go towards the side here if you actually let me move it over if you extend if I were to extend the net out it actually go out to where my finger is it's about a foot there and so what I do here in, in on the um, on the little nylon strap that's up there is I'll fold it in half right around that point there and I'll cut a little hole in it with scissors and then using a um, lighter I like to make sure that I melt a little bit around that hole just so that the uh, the nylon doesn't just fuzz out and um, make the hole a lot bigger. And then what I'll do is I'll just loop I'll loop the the last hole back on there and then it'll stay intact right there. And I do the same thing for um, the other side up here. And then in what you'll see in the video, what I what I've added is is uh, let me get down here in a little bit. What I've added is these blocks. So they're just two by fours and I sandwich them together and um, the reason I do that is because we get pretty high winds and rain and these uh, whenever it's really windy those things are just flapping all over the place so what happens is, is if we're trying to shut the garage door and it's really windy um, these blocks prevent the net from going underneath the garage door and tripping the sensor so that the sensor you know the child sensor so that the garage door doesn't keep going up as we're trying to shut the door and this this sucks especially when it's rainy and it's coming down hard and the wind is like sucking the net into the garage it's just a pain in the butt so what I did it started doing a few years ago is putting these blocks which you'll see in the video how I put those on so what I'll do is I'll I'll um, remove this little there's a little metal pole inside there and I remove that on this this pole I'll remove I leave that one intact and I uh, use a little screw to keep that in there with and you'll see in the video I, I make a um, out of an old hose the rubber inside of the hose I, I make myself a um, little rubber uh, washer and that just helps to where the nylon um, it doesn't get or the screw doesn't completely ruin the nylon and then I'll do the other block over here so I skip every other pole and then if you'll notice right here I have a little miter on this this is just so because this is the entrance point here so you know as people go through you don't want to get your ankle smashed on a corner of the piece of wood so I, I've mitered the the corners right here on just on the center point on the middle I left the uh, blocks just the same because nobody goes through the middle right here but um since I'm a woodworker my miter station is back there and there's not 
it, if, if you've ever been through a door that keeps shutting as you're trying to go in and out the door, it's just a pain. So I'm going to show you how I um, move the net up without having to remove the net. And actually, while we're on it, removing the net is really simple. So what you do is just take it off, off of the screws. And I do this because uh, if we have like a what we call a driveway movie night and we don't need the net up, I'll take it off and it takes about a minute to just to t take off the net. <clears throat> but since we live in Kansas and we get all seasons in one day, I, I keep the net up year round. Um, for us, I would say that this net lasts about, I'd say eight months to a year, just because of the constant usage. You get holes in it from, you know, the dogs run through it because they don't see it. And we have, uh, sometimes I'll accidentally hit a piece of lumber and pop a hole in there and then it just has to be replaced after a while. But if, you, if you're not a woodworker and you don't have a lot of traffic going in through there, you're, it'll probably last you a, a long time. But uh, I'm going to show you how I open up each side um, so I can temporarily use it um, uh, and then put it back down. So I, you can kind of see up here in the video, I have a loop. I have a screw up here and on that screw I have a, a loop rope so it's attached there then I have another loop right here so that I can um, cinch up the net so I'm going to show you from this side how I cinch up this side All right, so my miter station, you can probably maybe see it way back there. So let's just picture that this is a long piece of wood. Let's say it's a 12 foot long piece of wood. So I got my wood here. And I can, I can move around and uh, I'm not cutting into the net, which I've, I've learned how to be able, be able to do that really easily. <laughs> So that's, that's why I prop it up. And then on this side over here, I don't, uh, I only have it just halfway propped up here, which let me show you how that works too. <coughs> so like I mentioned, we, uh, we use this garage door as our front door really. And so sometimes, um, I'll have to, uh, uh, carry cardboard boxes so one of some of my shipping materials so rather than sitting there and slicing through the net accidentally or just bumping into it I just prop it up right up here and I'm going to close this side just so you can kind of see the uh, the amount of space that I get So there's the amount of space that I get, you know, you know, if I'm really just needing to use just this little portion right here. And that's really all I need is just a little bit wider than what a uh, door door width is. But uh, one thing I didn't mention is on the sides here, um, you're going to have some little Velcro pieces. And it comes with these little uh, Velcro squares and they have a little sticky backing on it. So when you put the sticky backing on there, what I found is... If you put the pad on there, you know, in the position that that, that, that um, Velcro is, put the pad, stick it onto the surface that you're at. And I like to, here's what I'd recommend. Don't use staples to keep the um, pad on there, which I've done that in the past. That's how I know this, this step. But what you want to do is you put the sticky pad on there onto the surface. And then using a uh, small uh, drill bit, you know, pre-drill a little hole and put a screw in there. And I would use a... Um, a uh, a, a flat screw let me show you here real quick what I mean here. something that where it's uh, it sits pretty nice and flush but so you see like that and this the reason I say that is because this little sticky pad it gets wet and see this one I just put on and it's already popping off so using a little screw it helps to keep that velcro so it has it still has enough surface to be able to uh, attach but uh, it won't fly off, which you've seen right here. I, I used to uh, staple them on, and 
after a while the staple falls off and let me go ahead and put that back on so anyway you'll see that you have uh, velcro all the way down and you can see from old years where maybe when they manufactured it they didn't keep the same specs but uh, let me put my net back down because I'm gonna be working and it's really simple how you how you put it down you see I just I keep that string there year-round so then we'll put it back here and then our garage keypad is right here so my kids like to open up that um, side of the uh, that side of the uh, garage there or the uh, the net and the nice thing is is that velcro is really easy to put right back on and then <coughs> to seal up the door it has these little magnetic pads right here so then if you want to really get which I will here when I actually get into work here I will uh, completely seal it up so then it in the middle there it has a really good seal so anyway I hope this this is helpful to somebody that uh, that uh, just can't stand bugs I can't stand mosquitoes um, and then when I'm painting I can't stand gnats or any type of flying bug um, if I'm working late in the evening, it's like they're so attracted because my my um, garage is uh, it's all LED in there, so it's like daylight when it's like three in the morning. So anyway, hopefully this helps somebody else out. Have a great day.